dude never in my 22 years of living did i think an anime will make me as sad as jujutsu kaisen season 2 episode 18 man first off the bat i just want to say if you have sensitive ears or you know you just pretty much cry about everything you do not want to watch this video man i mean hopefully you do stick around because i do kind of need the ad revenue man them two dollars be hitting real different man especially in this type of economy please stick around and watch the whole video and share with your friends please uh so bad so stinky uh. so guys in this episode sadly we saw the departure from the physical world of mr nanami i think that's how you freaking say his name if i said it incorrectly my bad man he's actually a freaking good dude and all he's probably like my top five best characters in the freaking anime why did gege ekatami had to kill him off man and i've heard a lot of rumors saying that he wasn't even supposed to die in the anime he was just supposed to lose like a freaking arm but he literally lost his whole fucking life man he literally exploded man he's kind of like a like what's this candy called the gushies gush golf busters I, I said ghost busters gush busters like when you bite them and they have like a bunch of liquid inside this explodes in your freaking mouth that's kind of what happened to nanami half his body went missing this man um mahito just did his i i forgot it was called soul manipulation or something where if he just touches you you freaking explode man pretty freaking crazy bad way just to die man i would not want to die like that man i want if i were to die i would want to die like in my sleep from like a heart attack man because i probably wouldn't even feel that i mean you're sleeping what really could you feel when you're sleeping man you're peaceful you just you don't wake up the next day man but then before the homie nanami died he was getting like these weird visions where he was in malaysia i guess that was like his dream destination vacation spot he wanted to be there and all he was just so freaking happy he looked so free on a random beach in malaysia he was just like you know taking in the environment he was just smiling feeling the wind the ocean currents were probably like you know pushing so much fresh freaking air into his lungs and he was like ah oh, man this feels good man i mean i don't blame him man that beach looks so damn clean in america there'll probably be like freaking cigarette buds alcohol bottles maybe plan b packaging all over the place used condoms man you never know man the beaches in america are really freaking dirty just the culture in america is just nasty man some people they have no manners at all bro they just litter wherever there could be a trash can right in front of them and they will not care man they will just throw whatever they have in their hands on the ground man but just a lot of things were going through my mind when I saw that scene of Nanami at a beach in Malaysia. I was thinking to myself, hopefully this brother got some coochie before he died too. Because I'm pretty sure in the anime, he doesn't have a kid or a wife. And he's a pretty good looking dude. He's probably like, what, six feet or like higher than that man he's probably like at least six foot five he has a beautiful phys physique man the body of a greek god he probably smells so good too man i feel like he's one of those dudes he probably uses that freaking tom ford or creed aventus you already know his shit his cologne taste is very exquisite man but just even just talking about it right now my voice is quivering man i don't know i'm just really sad of the departure from the physical world of mr nanami man but just yeah Oh no, could you please get some rip nanamis in the chat, man? Really good guy, gentleman. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, goodbye though. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace, man.